So this Saturday, it is our opening day, and I want to give you all just a little tour of the greenhouse so that you can kind of see what we have available. We will be getting some new plants in throughout the season a little bit, but the bulk of it is here and it's ready for you. So come on and join us as we go through the greenhouse. So one thing that we are so proud to offer here at the Bloomery are the high mowing organic seeds. These are seeds that we actually use when we plant our own gardens, when we're growing our organic vegetable plants for you guys. Um, we have a good variety. We have some flowers, some herbs, some summer crops, and then even have some sprouting mixes, and then all the crops that you should be growing right now. So we have a wide variety. And then if there's something particular that you want, always ask and maybe we can get it for you. Last year, we started talking to you a little bit about Coast Main products when we started just using them ourselves. And there was so much interest and through research and trials, we decided to start carrying them here in our greenhouse. So we are really excited about this. I'm probably the most excited about this of, of anything that I've sold here because it's so good for your plant and it's just all natural and organic and you're just gonna love these products. So we have the Buds and Bloom Organic Plant Food, the 513-0. We have the Stonington Blend Organic Plant Food with lobster kelp and worm castings. We have the squid concentrate for indoor plants. We have the Quaddy Blend Lobster Compost and I've been mixing this in my raised beds and I mean, guys, it's just some really, really good stuff. We have the lobster meal. We have the uh, cactus and succulent mix, and that's just a really good potting soil to use for succulents, cactus, and you might even use it in some of your house plants. Then we also have a few other things like the miracle Grow, the holly tone, um, and the soil mo moist in the Osmocote. But I'm really excited about the custom main products because I've just seen the results that they produce. So please try them, give them a try, and check them out. Along with the fertilizers and the plant foods, we also have their soil. So we have the Bar Harbor blend. And if you've been following us for a while, this is the blend that last year I showed you the difference in the regular potting mix and the Bar Harbor blend. And I, I grew two different plants that were started at the exact same time and showed you guys the difference in the stem, in the leaf, in the size. This is the one that we use. So cannot go wrong with the Bar Harbor Blend. It's an all-purpose. It's great for raised beds. It's great for planters. It's great to mix in soil. You've got to try it. Okay, we've also got the acidic plant soil mix. So this one is for like azaleas, ferns, hydrangeas, berries. It's also Coast of Maine. We've got one for the vegetables and tomatoes. So this would be something you'd want to mix in your raised beds. Maybe even if you're doing a garden, like a row garden in the ground, you might mix it in the top few inches of your soil. So I'm really excited about this one. Actually, I'm excited about all of them. And then we have one for roses and flowers. So this one is just gonna promote lots of growth, lots of blooms, and get your flowers a good start. All of these are Coast of Maine products and they're all amazing. So one thing that is really good about the Coast of Maine products is that they have compost already in them. So this one for roses and flowers has compost and manure. It has some lime in it. It has some aged bark and peat moss. So it's a really good combination for your blooms. The tomatoes and vegetable soil and the acid-loving plant soil, those are the same. They have compost already mixed in them and good nutrients to get those plants going. In addition to some of our tropicals that you're going to see in this video, we also have house plants coming in. And I'm really excited. I know I say that a lot, but I really am excited about everything. But we have some rare house plants that we're going to be growing ourselves. It's going to be a little bit before those are ready, but I promise you're going to want to stick around, follow us, check us out as those grow. We've got some just unique ones with variegated leaves and lots of coloring, and I'm really excited about those. And I know you guys love house plants too. We've got succulents. Um, we actually have a, a wide variety. This is just a little sample of succulents. We've got little planters. We've got 
four inch pots and then we've also got some smaller three inch pots of succulents. We've talked to you a lot about our service of custom potting, which you guys can do. You can bring your pots by, drop them off. We'll pot them for you, get them growing. And then when you're ready for them, you can come pick them up. If your pots are too big or too heavy, we can come to your house and do them. But we also have planters ready for you. So um, they're still a little small because it's really early in the season, but we've got lots of choices for you guys. You're gonna love these as they start to grow and get big. We always have some customers who come back every year and buy these planters for their porches, their pools, their patios. We've got our greenhouse broken down into the sun side and the shade side and part sun, part shade. And so I wanna just share with you a few of our varieties that are for shade. So we have, of course, the impatiens, which are like one of the most common shade flowers. We have several colors of the double impatience this year. This one is so pretty. It's called Sparkler Cherry. We've also got the Beacon Silver, also known as Spotted Dead Nettle, and it produces beautiful little lavender colored flowers. Our Terenia blooms are starting to open. They are also shade loving. They trail nicely. They're good for hanging baskets or as your spiller in a planter. Some of the other shade loving plants that we have are the Rex begonias. And I've actually had a few customers send me pictures recently of their begonias from last year that they have saved. They brought them indoors, put them by a window, kept them warm, and they look beautiful. We've got the bronze leaf whopper red begonia here. I think the color of the foliage is just beautiful on that. We also have new to us this year is the dragon wing white begonia and i'm so excited about that one because it just it goes with anything and it's just beautiful i think the foliage on it's beautiful the color is beautiful so you're going to want to check that out we've got the cherry blossom begonia and that one if you were here with me in the last couple of years it's just starting to open but you can see the color on the blooms is so pretty so we're excited about that some years we've carried non-stop begonias and some years we haven't we have had a lot of people asking for those so we're growing them again this year and we actually have a mix so we're going to have lots of different colors to offer you yellow whites reds pinks corals so if you are a non-stop begonia fan you'll definitely want to come check us out coleus is one of the most versatile plants we have certain varieties that can be grown in shade or sun and then there are some that are just for shade and so we've got both kinds for you guys some trails some are more upright but the foliage, the color of the foliage is just amazing. When you look at it and you just see the dark pink veins in the middle and the lime green outer edges, I mean, you just cannot beat that color. We've got several different kinds of that to offer you. So we've got some really neat varieties, neat colors to show. Let's see, we've even got kind of the bronze colored ones to give you. This one is Main Street, Wall Street. This one can take sun or shade, which is so nice that they can do anything. For all of those folks who love lavender, the beautiful color that it brings, the amazing scent, we've got a variety of lavender for you. We also have citronella commonly known as the mosquito plant because yes, they do help repel mosquitoes or ascended geranium. They have lots of different names. Calling all geranium lovers, we have violet, lavender, salmon colored, dark red and white for you. Okay, our heucheras, also known as coral bells, have a beautiful foliage color. The great thing about these is that they will last you well into the fall. They are perennial, so they'll come back and they'll put little, I always call them shoots, but like little shoots up, kind of like a hosta does with some little flowers, blooms on them. And the foliage stays beautiful all year long. There's lots of different colors and varieties of these. We went with this one just because I really was fond of the coloring of it. We've got our Proven Winners display here. And two things that I want to mention to you that are new to us is the Supertunia Priscilla 
It is a double petunia. Let me just show you the color. Amazing. Uh, the blooms are just amazing. They're so pretty. And then we also have persimmon. So back here we've got our normal bubble gum that cannot be beat, our super tunia bubble gum. So we have our fuchsia petunias that we always have, our Picasso in purple. Let me see here. We've got, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, the, oh yeah, the Vista Indigo, the mini Vista Indigo. That's new to us this year, so I'm excited about that one. And I love the, the Proven Winners Petunias just because they bloom for so long. You don't have to clean them. They deadhead themselves. And um, just the color that they hold throughout the season and the shape and the form is always very excellent. Okay, and then you can come and get all the plants you need for your garden. So if you're planting a vegetable garden, we've got 15 different varieties of tomatoes, about seven varieties of peppers, lettuces, kale, spinach, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, strawberries, and lots of different herbs. And our friend Jesus, he's actually feeding up some more trays today for you guys, and we will have them all season long. If you're looking for a plant that will trail or climb, then you should definitely check out the Arizona Glow. Look at the color on that, it's so pretty. If you're familiar with Black Eyed Susans, then you're gonna be familiar with this plant also. So in our perennials, we have some Shasta daisies, daylilies, elephant ears, some Coreopsis, we've got hostas, we've got some grasses, different grasses for you guys, some echinacea, and roses, hydrangeas, and a beautiful blue hibiscus bush. So our strawberries are already starting to produce beautiful little red berries. These are day neutral strawberries and they are gonna produce all season long in small amounts. Very, very good. Very sweet, very tender. Excellent, excellent flavor. In addition to the hanging baskets that we carry every year, I know everybody always looks forward to the red dragon wing begonias with the silver falls. We've planted up several different new kinds of hanging baskets so this one is red verbena and it's got these beautiful little purple million bells mixed in and then there's also a darker purple petunia mixed in so this is one you can find here this season it's already putting on a lot of color you want to be cautious when you're buying hanging baskets you don't want them to be big and huge and already bloomed out at the very beginning of the season so look for baskets like this that are still young that are going to last you all season long and grow throughout the spring and the summer, not ones with old flowers that have been bloomed for a really long time. Okay, when we're talking about sun loving plants, we have a large variety for you guys from canna lilies, salvia, verbena, zinnias, sunflowers, like a potted small sunflower, lots of different petunias from wave petunias, mounding petunias, double petunias, some with really pretty coloring on them. We've got our famous black petunias that everybody wants every year and the black and white ones. We have some really beautiful sun patients. I had a lot of folks last year looking for red sun patients and I've got you covered on that this year. We've got the million bells, the orange marmalade. We have daisies. We have pintas, lots of trailing plants from dianthus to straw flowers. We have just such a good variety for you guys. And like I said, we're not even done planting yet. We kind of filled up the greenhouse and are going to sell down a little bit before we bring in the next load of flowers. So we just have such a good variety of for you and lots of colors and the plants are healthy and growing. And I'm just so excited to welcome you to our greenhouse this year. It's going to be such a good season. If you like the cone baskets and you decide to purchase them, it's important to know that they come with a stand, which makes them so versatile because you can actually take them down if you need a centerpiece for a table, set them on the stand, use them, and then hang them back up. They're really just great planters to have because you can use them in so many ways. 
if you're needing a place to start your plants, check out our miniature greenhouses. They're really easy to put together. They don't take up a lot of space and they're great for starting vegetables, um, even starting flowers. If you wanna start some zinnias and then move them outside as it gets warmer, you can get a head start on that. We always recommend using full spectrum LED grow lights in them and monitoring the temperature, but they're just a great asset to have if you like to garden. The great thing too is that they're inexpensive. So this one is $47. So for $47, you get your own little greenhouse that you can use to start all kinds of great plants. If you are limited on space and you still want a garden, please know that you can do that. And we would love to walk along with you in that journey and help you and give you advice and information that you need to be successful. We decided to start carrying some grow bags because we know that folks sometimes have a balcony or a patio and they don't have a lot of space. And we wanted to be sure that we offer what they need so that they can grow their own food or just even simple little flower gardens or herb gardens. So we have these breathable fabric bags. This one's a pretty good size here that you can fill up with potting soil and actually grow a garden in it. And the great thing is, is that you can take them with you. So if you move, we live near Fort Campbell and we have a lot of families who are transient and um, they can actually take these with them. We have green ones, we have black ones. You can kind of see and then we've got red ones that have handles on them where you can just pick it up and move it. The water will permeate through the felt bag. It's breathable, so the plants are gonna get the air that they need. And it's just a great, a great way to garden if you don't have a lot of space. Or even if you do have a lot of space and it's just maybe a difficult task for you to go outside and plant a really big garden, this is a great way to do that, to grow something. Okay, so welcome to the jungle. This is our fern jungle. That's what my kids call it. And they like to come in here and pretend that they're like in a fairy garden and play. So we have our big Boston ferns that everyone has grown to love. These are 12 inch hanging Boston. We only sell these at the greenhouse. And so we have those for you guys. And then we have the matcha, the Kimberly queen and the smaller Boston ferns for you. So come check out our ferns and let us help you. We have a few foxtail ferns, uh, hanging macho ferns, a couple of things like that that we're trying out to see if we wanna have more of them next year. So if you're interested in those, contact me and I can hook you up with those. You know, Easter's coming up and we always have folks who are like, we wanna get our ferns right before Easter so that we can put them on our porch. So we, are open this Saturday for our first day if you want to come out and get your ferns before Easter or the next weekend because Easter is only like a week away now, a week and a half away. So um, we have them ready for you whenever you're ready.